I'm walking down another alley, but that's the alley behind me. That's where I just was. But now I'm going down another alley. Why? Well. I know you're gonna dig this. What's going on? Heather, this video is for you. This building houses London Bridge Studios. Pearl Jam recorded 10, their first album, here. Their biggest album, here. One of the biggest rock albums of all time, here. Mother Love Bone, Soundgarden, Alice in Chains, Blind Melon, all recorded in this building here, right here. The music history has been created for a few different bands, but most especially Pearl Jam. Right here, recorded 10. Right inside there. Now you see me inside the uh, Foo Fighters studio. This one I'm just doing from the outside. I didn't call ahead. And uh, yeah, it's getting late in the day anyways. Anyway, but yeah. Right here. I got something cool though to show you about Pearl Jam that not a lot of people know about. And we're gonna go there now. Or I might have to do it in the morning because it's getting late in the day now and it's getting dark. But I wanted to show you this building here because music history, for me, a building like this. Come on. What? Like, I can't believe it's right here. This is where Pearl Jam recorded 10. Jeremy, Evenflow, Alive, Black, come on, release me. Release me. Yeah, I said release me really loud, people. What are you getting about? And appropriately, I wore my D12 shirt, bringing a little Detroit to Seattle. Why did I wear this shirt? And why not I wear like a Nirvana shirt, a Pearl Jam shirt, because I have them. Look, some things I just do on the, on the fly, and this is one of them. So, come along, let's go to the next place that has to do with Pearl Jam. Do you love Pearl Jam? What's your favorite Pearl Jam song? Write it in the comments below. My favorite Pearl Jam song is from the album Yield, and it's called In Hiding. Listen to that track. And I Love Mankind. Release me. Why am I saying release me? It's release. Oh my God. <laughs> release me. Wait, wait, where's it release? Wait a minute. Now I'm gonna have to put it on. Jesus. Well, I'm a big Pearl Jam fan, but I can't remember everything. There's a lot going on in this head. It doesn't look like there is, but sometimes when I shave, I shave away part of the brain. But yeah, my favorite song by Pearl Jam is In Hiding. Love, love, love. And I like Bugs. I love Bugs. That's a great song. Uh, yeah. And Yellow Lead Better. I mean, Yellow Lead Better. And by the way, John, my friend John, I want my CD single of Yellow Lead Better back. You know you still have it. He, said, he claims that he doesn't. He does. I lent it to him. John, yellow lead better. I want it back. Pearl Jam, right here. Release, release me. Release, release the hounds on me for not remembering what the hell the name of that song is. What the hell is the name of that song? There's one last shot of the building. Yeah, right in there. Right in there. London Bridge Studios. So Blind Melon recorded Blind Melon, the album Blind Melon, in there. Shannon Hoon was in that building. Wow, Chris Cornell was in that building. Eddie Vedder has been in that build <laughs> building. <laughs> Eddie Vedder has been in that building. That building, Veld, Vedder. And the song is called Release. I know, now I look like an idiot, but I'm not editing this video. 
I'm not redoing what I just talked about. Anyways, I'm sorry. Put on in hiding as soon as this video is over, okay? Now let's go to the next location. But watch the rest of this video and subscribe. It's the worst smile in the world. Mm -hmm. It's smarmy. And I'm not a smarmy guy, I'm really nice. I swear. <sighs> just don't piss me off. Or piss me off, it doesn't matter, I'm Canadian. I'll just, I'll just say sorry, 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 sorry. Release. Okay, let's go. Oh, good God. The parking here. Yeah, parking in Seattle is expensive and very difficult to find on the street. And when you put your license plate in to park in, like at the electronic, you know, parking lots, put your license plate in, then it says, place it on dash. Why do I have to place my, the receipt on the dash if you already have my license plate? That doesn't make any sense to me at all. I just feel to go. You, you have my license plate in your little computer there. You don't need to, I don't need to walk back to the car. Look what's here. Good God. That drive was awful. But I love Seattle. Look at this. Where I am, there's a cheap lot right here beside it. I could have parked right here. Instead of walking around all this way. Here it is. Look, I'm down another alley. But this is what I came to see. This is so cool. Take a look at this. What is right here? See that guy? Look at him. Look at that. So yeah, this is just an alley in Seattle, right? No. Well, first of all, look how cool and uh, the graffiti. It's getting dark, but you can still see. But here, which doorway is it now? No, it's underneath the ironworks shop. I just saw this fine iron, I, fine forged ironwork. This is where this is Pearl Jam, where they first rehearsed. Right down there in the basement. Now no one's here right now, so I can't get in. But I would imagine that this is the doorway right here to the downstairs. Still the same owners of the place, of the building, from what I can, uh, what I've read, same owners own the uh, ironwork place. And I guess that's one of their designs there. That's really cool. The skeleton, looks like skeleton working on an iron. Well, iron, you know. Look. Oh, he's on a skateboard too. He's doing everything. The skeleton is multi-talented. But Pearl Jam rehearsed in the basement and it's still a rehearsal space to this day. I'm really excited to be here. Really excited. Not only do I love alleys, if you're a regular watcher, or you know that I spend a lot of time going up and down alleys. Hey, rude. But uh, Pearl Jam would come and load their gear and go in here. Pearl Jam, here. Now, when they first got together, they were known as a different name. What was the name? Famous basketball player's name. That's all I'm gonna say. Write below in the comments if you know what Pearl Jam were known as. And then they became Pearl Jam here right in here. Oof. Eddie, 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 are you there? Mr. Vetter. Oh, you're on camera. Good. I don't believe you. Oh, yes I am. Very cool. Eddie Vetter. Mike McCreed, Stone Gossard, Jeff Hammond. Uh, who am I forgetting? Matt Cameron, right? I think that's the five guys. I believe so. Yeah. And here they are singing right beside me. Wait for it. Oh, he was just singing. Yeah, I think that's all the members of the band right now, right? <sighs> all right, time to call it a day. That's a wrap. I got some cool Pearl Jam places. Studio where they recorded 10. The song is called Release. Their first rehearsal studios. I wish I could go inside, but nobody's... I knocked a couple times. No one answered. No one's there. That's okay. You got to see the alleyway where they would load all their stuff up into it. I'm sure they have more expensive and a lot more gear now and they don't load it themselves. They probably have people. 
I don't have people. I'm doing this all myself. I don't know why I'm doing this. Ooh, look at that. That's a cool design, that building. <sighs> Little. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Heather, you requested it. My girl Heather Allen D. Friends since she was born. Just to rock her to sleep. That's not true. But I've been friends with her since she was born. I've known her roughly around then. All right, so Heather, I hope you enjoyed the video. New viewers to my channel, love you all. Thank you for watching, subscribing. All my old subscribers, you are here in my heart, close to D12. All right, that's it. Peace out. Where the hell did I park? Uh, hey, I have a dog. His name is Shady. You two would get along. Balloons. God, I have the attention span of a squirrel. Later. So behind me, that's the alley, down that way. You wanna find it? Look it up. Cause I'm not telling. Battery Street, Second Avenue. It's somewhere around there, you'll find it. Now I'm walking through another alley. Back to my car. Car's still there. We good, we good. Oh, look at that in front of me. Here we go. Yeah. The Space Needle. You see this thing everywhere you go. It's tall. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna go uh, uh, up it while I'm here. I haven't decided, but I think I might. I think I might. I don't know. If I have time. Maybe Bed Bath & Beyond. If, if I have time. I don't know. It's a crazy day. And I love you, Seattle. I do, but Space Needle, I mean, I'm from Toronto. We have something called the, uh, the CN Tower. Not that size matters, but you know, but you see, that CN Tower. So, just saying, we got your beat. Love you, Seattle.